Welcome, folks, to my LP of NES Pro Wrestling. Today, we're defending the title. Ten matches here. Here we are with the Amazon versus uh, Ryu Hayabusa, and my goal in uh, the defense title is going to be to throw these guys out of the ring as fast as possible. I have to complete ten guys in order to get to Great Puma, so I want to make this as quick as possible. So the goal is is to soften them up with either the fork attack or the head bite, then to throw them out of the ring, either using the brain bruster or the body slam. If I get lucky or unlucky, as you might say, the other opponent will throw me out. Once outside of the ring, as you can see now, I will throw them up against the walls. That works pretty well to soften them up. Even better, though, is to do the fork attack. I almost had him there. Uh, you can't do a brain buster to get him out of the ring until you've softened him up. If you've been following the thread, you already know, as Eddie posted, that the record on this is about six minutes. I'm nowhere close to that. It probably took me 20 minutes to... No, probably 10 minutes to get the first title, and it's going to take me about 20 to get to Great Puma. So next is Starman. Once again, a couple kicks. Then I'll start locking him and either doing head bites or fork attacks. There you go. Uh, as many times as this is possible. Uh, pulling up guys uh, early on in the matches is uh, a two edged sword, as because they can very soon after picking them up, kick you, and then knock you down. It's best to uh, soften them up a little before you start picking them up off the mat. Uh, you just saw Starman, so Star Kick, I believe it's called. Uh, whenever he does it, the uh, audience cheers. But yeah, the Amazon continues to soften him up. I uh, will go out of the ring, throw him against the wall a couple times and then climb back in, and that will be that. Yeah, not much exciting commentary here, folks. Each of the characters only has two moves. So all you're going to see is them me doing those repeatedly until throwing them out of the ring. King Corn Karn now. You don't so much have to worry when you pick King Corn Karn up off the map because his karate chop and karate kick are so slowly animated that you will have time to move out of the way. The regular wrestling kick is fast enough that as soon as you pick a man up off the mat, or as soon as you get off of the mat, if you're not fatigued, you can get one off immediately and generally take the guy down. Uh, Irish whip, and I duck. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. So, as this is going on, I guess as I can suppose I could talk to you about uh, what I've learned. I've been watching quite a great deal of wrestling, and the thing I think I've picked up the most is that it is not easily uh, to be a wrestler. The amount of physical fitness and I think stamina is, is well beyond most people. Even those who are fit and haven't done it. Of course, if you want to know more, you could ask Shake. Well, he himself is an actual wrestler. Alright, King Kong Karn is out. I don't know if I was lucky enough to... I had uh, Repeatedly, I had the problem of throwing these guys up against the wall and then getting back in the ring uh, in enough time, thinking that they wouldn't, but they managed to slip in right underneath the... 19 minute clock out. 19 second clock out, sorry. <clears throat> I don't know when that one lose was. I believe that was when I was going for the 
first title. I fought three guys after Giant Panther, it will be King Slender, and then you do it all over again before you get to Great Puma. <clears throat> Uh, this straight run, without any losses or ties, uh, took me three tries, I believe. I kept getting hung up on King Corn Karn and then King Slender. And if I managed to get through them the first time, I got caught up on those two guys the second time. Strangely enough, uh, the first fight I had against... Giant Puma, which you will see at the end of this video, or if I cut it into two the next, I had no problem defeating Giant Puma on the first match against him. Okay, once again, get the air opponent out of the ring, slam him up against the walls, or do the fork attack, because it eats up so much time, and then you slide back into the ring. It's 18, 19, 20, count. Six more matches. I think I'm going to cut these into two or three, though. <clears throat> uh, as you go along, the second version of King Slender in the these ten defending matches is much more difficult than the first one. It seems that your character's stamina stays the same while every all your opponent's stamina goes way up so that it takes many more special moves against them to get them fatigued enough that you can pretty much do whatever you want to them. So while now it might take half a dozen to a dozen headbites to fatigue King Slender, the second match against him it will take uh, twice as many as that, and he would still only be slightly fatigued. Uh, not the most way to increase the difficulty, but it is enough to make it difficult to, to control your opponent so that you can throw him out of the ring. The reason you throw them out of the ring is because it just takes so long to fatigue them enough to do a three count. Uh, basically, the best thing to do is to run the clock out here, doing minor moves, and then, as their your opponent tries to get back in the ring, they're prevented from doing so. Uh, you'll see uh, an excellent example of that against Giant Puma, where I managed to pin him. Okay, we're going to end that here.